Good evening, Wrightsville. Donna Pinckney with you again on Thursday evening for the devotion. For the month of August, each Thursday, we're learning a new prayer practice, um, a new old prayer practice, if you will. Some of you already know these prayer practices, and I'm hearing from you how meaningful they've been to you throughout your life, and that makes me really happy. And for those of you who they are new to, please take some time, spend some time in these different practices. Each week is a new practice and find one that's really meaningful for you. And uh, we hope that, that you will. We hope that you'll find something that you really enjoy. I'm going to talk a little bit tonight about praying with the Psalms. And as always, the graphic that details this information is also attached to this, this post um, on Facebook and you can print it out from there. The Psalms are, are a prayer book of the Bible and Jews and Christians have been praying the Psalms for thousands of years, thousands of years. Even Jesus had the Psalms on his lips. I think that's really cool, right? Um, they're full of every emotion that human beings feel. They're full of praise, anger, awe, grief, gratitude. They're just full of all the emotions. And so they offer comfort and clarity in desperate, murky, confusing situations. Huh, do we know anything like that? Um, they offer us words when we don't have words of our own to say. And so you can find every emotion there. And um, so I, I invite you to um, look through the book of Psalms and, and think about what that might, what ones might be meaningful to you, right? So here's some different ways to pray with the Psalms. Learn it by heart. Choose one. Learn it by heart. Um, Allowing yourself to learn it by heart also allows the, the Word of God to change who you are and how you think when you can internalize it in a different way than just reading it. So pick a psalm, memorize it. Every month in Wrightsville Worship, we do read a psalm. And we have a different person read it each week, and so you hear it in a different voice and different inflections, and, and we think that's meaningful. But what is meaningful for you is to learn it yourself and to internalize it yourself. So that's one way. Another way might be to pray it out loud. Don't just read it. Read it like a prayer. Read it out loud. Uh, I know for myself, I think sometimes more clearly when I hear it out loud. <laughs> um, for other folks, it's when they hear it here in their heart and they read it silently. So pick which way works for you and read it as a prayer, not as scripture so much as as a prayer. Try reading it as a prayer. And then paraphrase it. That's another way. Learn one so very, very well. Study it. Spend some time with it that you learn it well enough to paraphrase it. Put it in your own words. I know we often ask confirmands to do that sort of thing, and I remember doing it as a youth myself. Um, learning a scripture well enough to paraphrase it, to put it in my own words, and then to own that and be able to pray that paraphrase. So, there you go. Three different ways to pray with the Psalms. Um, and I hope that one of those will be meaningful to you. Maybe all three of them will be meaningful to you. We'd love to hear from you how you're incorporating these different prayer practices. We've talked about breath prayers the first week. We talked about the daily examine last week. And now this week we're talking about praying with the Psalms. So there's three practices, three new things to learn. We all like to learn. So we hope that we found some options for you that allow you to have a more meaningful prayer life. And I hope that you have a great week. I will see you next Thursday. Good evening.